And in order to appreciate a nation's culture, we also have to understand its people's religion. And that is why our travels here to Korea will not be complete without a stop at Bongunsa Temple. Bongunsa Temple is writing a new history for Korean Buddhism as it establishes itself as the center for Buddhist practice in Korea. Bong Unsa is a Buddhist temple in Gangnam Gu, Seoul, South Korea. It is founded in 794 during the reign of King Wonsong by the monk Yun Ho, then the highest ranking monk of Silla and originally named Kyung Sung Sa. It is located on the slope of Sudo Mountain in Samsung Dong across the street from the Coex Mall. 3,479 Buddhist scriptures of 13 types, including the works of Kim Jong-hee, are stored here. The Buddhist ceremony called Jongdai Bulsa is held every September 9th of the lunar calendar, where monks march carrying the scriptures on their heads and recite the Bopsonggi, or Buddhist rites. The temple is also a notable tourist destination, offering a temple stay program in which visitors can lead the life of a monk for a few hours. We only visited for a few hours, but got a very special treat. Now tea is ready. Please put your palms together and do a half bow. Buddhism is um, for um, many people, so uh, Korean, Kore uh, Korean have uh, many uh, religion, but uh, in my case, when I was young, my mom went, went to a temple, so I saw that, so uh, when I was young, I went to church or Catholic, so uh, my mind is uncomfortable. So I decide uh, I go to the temple, my mind is very comfortable. So I decide I come Buddhist. When I do uh, bows, I have a greeting. Mm -hmm. So very thank you for for peaceful, for peaceful. So my family, my friends. Mm. What about uh, the temple? How often do you go to the temple? Uh, I I go I come to the temple so three times a week. Mm. And what we just did now is the tea ceremony. Do all people who go to the temple um, go through the tea ceremony? Yeah, yeah. So uh, when you do drink tea, uh, we do this ceremony at my our home. So uh, sometimes we do uh, this performance uh, more simple, but uh, Buddhists do the do this performance is uh, like this. Mm -hmm. This performance is the traditional of Korea tea ceremony. Why is tea ceremony important in Buddhism? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I told you, uh, in Buddhism, we say that uh, originally sentient uh, beings have 108 afflictions. Uh, so we, when we drink tea uh, for uh, these uh, afflictions, cutting off afflictions. So we, uh, this ceremony is very comp important. When you uh, when you drink tea to cut off afflictions, what afflictions are those? Uh, so we have uh, six roots, okay? Uh, ears, eyes, nose, tongue, body, and mind. Mm? And so uh, we have uh, six consciousness. Mm? Hear, see, sell, smell, smell uh, taste, taste um, phenomenon, and uh, phenomenon and feel. Yeah. Okay, so uh, 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 multiplying mm -hmm. six uh, roots, six consciousness multiplying, three, uh, six, uh, okay, mm -hmm. mm, 36. 36. Okay, uh, so uh, 36 afflictions uh, come here, uh, past, mm -hmm. present, future. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, 36 afflictions and 3 multiplying 108 afflictions. Mm. And when you drink tea, you get rid of what kind of afflictions? You said, mentioned earlier greed, anger. Yeah, anger, so, uh, well, including yeah. greed. Anger and ignorance are coming off. When you drink, coming off afflictions. Okay. And what kind of tea is uh, served? Mm, originally, we served the Greek tea. Mm -hmm. So uh, the other tea is uh, flowers tea. So the next time you find yourself tired in Korea, anxious, overwhelmed, needing clarity or wanting peace of mind, you know where to go. Thank you for joining us today. This has been Janelle So reporting to you for Kabo Bayan LA from Korea.